new videos every day. Hi, this is Dr. Vince Bolanzi. You probably heard in the news lately about artificial sweeteners and how people are trying to lose weight with them. Did you also read that what, what the finding was that people that are using the artificial sweeteners are gaining more weight than the people who just ate the sugar? Maybe you were wondering why. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that. You know, they did a study trying to compare the artificial sweeteners with just sugar. In fact, there was a major soft drink company that wanted this study done. They wanted to prove that their diet products were better than their normal products. So what they did is they took a group of mice and they took one part of the group and gave them just water. They took another part of the, this group of mice and they gave them an artificial sweetener and they took another group and gave them sugar and water just to be like, say, a regular soda as opposed to a diet soda, as opposed to just drinking water. Well, the group that ate water or drank water, they placed some chocolate cake in the cage and the mice walked around it. They weren't really that interested, but they investigated and walked on it. Then they put the cake in the cage that had the water and sugar. Guess what happened? The mice started eating the cake. They really thought it was something very good and uh, had much more interest than the first group did. But guess what happened in the group with the artificial sweetener, the chemical sweetener in the water? Those mice went crazy. In fact, they devoured the cake, seemed to have lost all control, and when they put more cake in, they kept eating. So that might tell you something about the chemical sweeteners. Maybe they're not as good as just the sugar. Now, I'm not saying I want you to drink sugar drinks, but the diet drinks may be worse for you. They tend to make your addiction stronger. They tend to make your reaction stronger. You may overeat because of them. And there are a number of other studies that have come out recently proving that, that people drinking the diet sodas gain more weight than the people just drinking the sugar sodas. So be a little careful. Remember that a normal aversion, believe it or not, the natural aversion to sugar is, is something that should be there, but we all overcome it. You get to a point where you can eat things that are sweeter and sweeter. You want more and more excitement. The same with the uh, salsas and things like that. So you overcome your aversion to something very sweet and you overeat something that's too much for your body and you start causing an uh, insulin reaction because you're eating very sweet foods. So perhaps those artificial sweeteners aren't as good for you. Take NutraSweet, for example. We know that a byproduct is formaldehyde. Now, it's, it's not as much as it was put out in the urban legends, but one byproduct is formaldehyde, and perhaps the, the aspartic acid itself can actually damage your DNA. S chemical sweeteners like Splenda are showing more and more that there are some damages that happen to the body from them. So the artificial sweeteners aren't necessarily that good for you. Just because they don't count as calories doesn't mean that they're tolerated by your body or that they're not dangerous. You've got a lot of other things you can use. Try some stevia, or at least to go to more natural sweeteners like maple or agave. Use something that's not going to cause too much of an insulin response. Even honey or things like that. Yes, they're all sugar. But when we concentrate the sugar, it becomes something non-natural. And when something's not natural, it's usually a problem with the body. And that's very much true of sucrose, which is a concentrated processed sugar or the high fructose corn syrup. We find that people have a worse problem with the concentrated items. So take better care of yourself by avoiding the chemical sweeteners. You may not want to hear that because you may have gotten dependent on them, but they're not good for you. Remember the study that I told you about the mice. Remember the fact that you have an aversion to things that are sweet. You should normally. Your body, if you are intuitive, will tell you what you need. The other thing about the sweet foods and the, all the high-carb foods, when we talk about flour, white sugar, white flour, all these things, are that there's not much as far as nutrients in those foods. You have to eat nutritious foods. You have to eat nutrient-dense foods because your body requires certain things besides just energy. And if all you're eating is concentrated energy, you're actually going to deplete your nutrients and be worse off. So take better care of yourself by choosing to eat things that have more than just sugar in them. And be real careful with the chemicals that are used to sweeten things. 
We've talked before about MSG. I want to talk a little bit about NutraSweet. Aspartate, like glutamic acid, these are excitatory toxins. And the reason they become toxic is because if they're too concentrated, they actually cause damage. But even if they don't cause damage, they cause your excitatory neurotransmitters, they, they, the receptor sites actually react too, too much and you'll have real problems, both mentally and physically. So be real careful what you choose to eat and drink. The other thing I want you to remember is that when you drink sugar, it's real easy to overdo it. It's a little more difficult to eat something that's extremely sweet. You might actually get to the point where you can't eat anymore. But if you drink sugar, you can drink a load of sugar. Remember the old adage where we know that there's about 13 teaspoons of sugar just in a regular soda. That's quite a bit of sugar. Could you sit down and eat that spoonful by spoonful? But you can sure down that drink fast. So be aware of what you're putting in your body. Start reading your labels. Start being aware of how these chemicals affect you. The food industry loves the chemicals because usually it makes you buy more of whatever they put it in and it's going to cause you to be a better consumer. But that doesn't mean that it's healthier for you. Being a better consumer really means taking care of yourself. Don't worry about the profits of the big companies. So live healthy, take care of yourself. You're the one that's responsible. This is Dr. Vince Bolanzi. It's been a pleasure talking with you.